Ugh. Hello everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. It's Friday. Um, I'll be live tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I knew there was something I had to say. And it's mighty freaking cold here in Toronto. Really, really cold. Uh-oh. Oh, don't fall on me. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Oh, she's falling down. Hold on. Great. I think we fixed it, maybe. Anyway, really cold in Toronto today. So if you're going outside, wear a sweater. I was told to wear a sweater. I had to go across the, the street to the store. I'm thinking I'm going to make a garlic soup, I think. Anyways, I have my Ipsy Plus. Um, you cannot get this bag in, sh in Canada unless you use a shipping company, which I do. The shipping company that, company that I use, it's called Shipsy. Um, I have a link down below. If you go in through my link, you get $10 credit on your account. The shipping cost me in total Canadian $7.90. Um, it did go up in price, this box. I think it's like, I don't know, $27, $28, bucks, something like that now. So it's about $45.00. Canadian for the box for the Ipsy Plus and then I pay the seven dollars and ninety cents Canadian for shipping because it's free shipping in the US so it gets delivered to my to the Shipsy warehouse in New York and uh, then they bring it here to Toronto there's a warehouse in Mississauga and I go pick it up there are two new locations for Shipsy starting um, I know one is gonna open up on October 19th so if you are in Vancouver, BC, and you want to use a shipping company for things that you can't get shipped to Canada, check out Shipsy, like Ipsy, you know, or or Jackie Hill, Jacqueline Hill's Cosmetics, or, or Lunar Beauty, so you don't have to pay the crazy, insane rate of shipping, like the Trend Mood box um, is coming out with a new box, the Caudalie box, so if they have at least three of the products that I know I use from Cuddly in that box. I'll get the box. But shipping to Canada for that is like 25 bucks, something that's crazy. The shipping to Canada, I'll just get it shipped to Shipsy and um, should not have to pay that much for it, right? Anyways, that's how I get my Ipsy Plus bag and Ipsy X, which I'm not going to get for November because it's all Huda Beauty and I don't use a lot of her products. So, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. I think I had a couple of add-ons as well. Um, and the add-ons, it comes out the second of every month. The spoilers for this bag comes out on the second of the month, just like the Canadian bag, the only Canadian bag that we can get, um, comes out on the second of the month. You're allowed up to 10 add-ons, ranging from $39, or is it, no, $3.00. $12, $18, I think one's 24 and like 50 or something like that. I thought they used to have a $3 and a $9 or 3 and a $6, but maybe that's all in my head and they never. Anyways, I know I had a couple of add-ons, so I'm going to take everything out of the bag so I can find those add-ons and I'll show you what the bag looks like for October. Right. So here's the Ipsy bag for October, the Ipsy Plus bag. Um, of course, Tatcha, because we love her. We love Tatcha Dewey Moisturizer. We love her. And I got a little tiny bit left in my full-size bottle. A little tiny bit left. I think I might have enough maybe for a month if I use it sparingly, two months. So I'm thinking I might have to take advantage of the Sephora sale. I think there's like a 20% Rouge sale. I might have to take advantage of that to get another bottle of my Tatcha or I should just pour all the bottles I got into one of my, my big bottle to see how much I have in it and see if that'll last me for another six months. We'll see. Um, oh, and the other add-on I got was Twista Sista, Sista, I'm all over the place, Twisted Sista 30 Second Curl Spray. This is uh, the second bottle. Same. I got the same add-on pretty much in my regular Canadian bag. But I got this for Madison because she's got curly hair. So both of it was $3 USD. So $4 and change, right? Right. Pretty Wicked, Wicked, Pretty Wicked is the theme. And I'm not reading that. Never do. Okay. What did I get? Well, well, see, Ipsy Plus, Ipsy chooses your first two items. And then you get to choose 
your last three. And I am a makeup girl. I'll choose makeup all the time if I can. Um, but you know, there's certain brands of makeup that I don't like to see in my bag, which I have sent numerous emails to Ipsy if I seen it come out like free points. Hey, don't put that in my bag. I don't want this brand. Anyways, they thought, you know, just screw it. Let's send her the Deuce palette. I just wiped it off because it had um, powder on it because I had wasted highlighter on my desk. So I just wiped off the cover. Um, Deuce. I got Deuce. This is what they chose for me. For me. Deuce, everybody. You know how much I love Deuce, right? It is a blush palette. It's called the Posh Powder Palette. Um, that's Deuce. There we go. <laughs> you see me filming right there. <laughs> so, Deuce, let's see what she looks like. I'm not going to swatch these. Looks like pretty colors, not going to lie. Very pretty. They're actually, I think, prettier in person than what they look on the video. Um, but I just don't want Deuce. I don't. But they're very pretty. And I think these are, these, this is a highlight. This is a highlight here. This one and this one's a highlight. Oh, all three. So up on top, pretty colors. I'm not going to lie. They are three very pretty highlights with three um, blushes. Nice. But I don't want it because it's juice, everybody. And that's all I got to say about them apples. If you want it, great for you. You know, everybody is different. And it's okay. You can like some things that I don't like and I can like some things that you don't like. It's all right, you know. Oh, I got on my eyes today. Ace Beauty. There's this palette from Ace Beauty. Let me show you. This one, oh, the Scarlet Dusk palette. I got this in BoxyCharm a long time ago. I mean, two years ago. And it's one palette that I never get rid of because the pigmentation is gorgeous. And I love the colors. Love the colors. Like, I have all of these on my eyes. And then a little bit of that one and a little bit of that one. I absolutely love the colors in this palette. Ace Beauty's got some nice pigmented palettes, I must say. I have another one from the company, too, I never reached for. This one from Ace Beauty. Got this one in BoxyCharm as well. This is the Grand Door, Grand Do palette. Um, and these are the shades. Again, very nice shades, pigmented, you know. So this is probably one, one brand that I've gotten from BoxyCharm that I do enjoy. And yeah, it is made in China, made in the PRC. So I do enjoy their eyeshadows, but anyway, I digress. That's what I have on my eyes today. So we got Deuce. The other thing that they chose for me was this. This is the Wonder Beauty Hydration Mask. It's a face mask from Wonder Beauty. Apply a generous layer, massage it into your skin, keep it on for 10-15 minutes, and rinse off. Okay, so we got a face mask, which I don't mind a face mask. I prefer a face mask that you apply yourself other than a sheet mask. Um, staycation hydrating face mask. I Didn't I hear someone, someone like this face mask? I'm sure I watched a video one time and they were saying when they go on an airplane they put this on because it really helps your skin because the airplane like dries it out or something like that. Did I see that in a video? Was it this mask? I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because I'm seeing staycation that that came to my brain, but um, three in one mask. It is a a mask, a moisturizer, and a skin treatment. I want oh, it's got a thingy on it, so I don't know. Do I keep it? I don't know. I want to see if it smelled, but I don't know if I'm gonna open it. I, I like it. Do I need it? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But anyways, that's what Ipsy chose for me. Was a deuce <laughs> and the face mask. Deuce. You know that, that baby's getting one star, right? Like if there was zero stars, I'd give it a zero star. Anyways, um, so out of the choices, which is surprising because I always choose makeup. And I have this from 111 Skin. And I'm like, did I choose that? thinking did I there must have been nothing in that category that I wanted 
for me to have to choose this. That's had, that had to be the way it went down. Because I don't choose makeup, I don't choose skincare. It's usually always makeup. So whatever was in that category, um, it had to be nothing that either I, I, stuff I didn't want or maybe I already had it. But that's what I chose anyways. The 111 Skin Recovery Cream. Is this a night cream? It's called the Nocturnal Eclipse Recovery Cream. Oh, I don't know. I might keep this. Apply in small circular motions at night. Okay, after cleansing and toning. We'll see. I think I might keep this. I'm running out of my Caudalie face night cream. Um, I don't even know if I have another bottle left. If I do, I only have like one 30 ml bottle left of my night cream. And it's, I can't find it. Like, it's so hard to find now like on the Facebook page to buy. And I usually get mine for 10 bucks. So, um, I guess it's good to have a, you know, a night cream on hand, right? But has anyone ever tried this? Do you like it? it smells nice. Oh, I just got it on my, on my lip. Yeah, I must say this smells really nice. I like the smell of it. So, I don't know. I might just keep that and give it a try. I know this is one of those expensive brands that really do they need to be that expensive kind of thing. Um, because I know we've seen this in Ipsy. I think we've seen it in BoxyCharm. So, I'm always like, where did you come from? You know, do you need to be that expensive? Because this is probably over $100 US. And it's made in China. So, I just... I don't know. What does that say? Made in China for 111 Skin, which is in the UK. Makes you wonder, right? Just makes you wonder. Things that make you go, hmm, you know? And honestly, I see an overpriced brand in, in BoxyCharm and Ipsy and those in subscription boxes. It just makes me wonder, you know? That's all I'm saying. Just makes me wonder. It's probably really good. Makes me wonder. Um, all right. Then I chose these brushes. Do I really need more brushes? Really? I mean, you can't have enough brushes, but do I need more brushes? So obviously, if I chose brushes, it meant that... I thought there was five. No, there's only four? Did I drop a brush? Oh, I did. Hold on, I dropped a brush. My ass sticking up. I hope my, I hope my big butt wasn't like my big flat ass wasn't sticking up in this video. Um, so yeah, so five brushes. They do not feel very nice. They're very cheap brushes. Honestly, I can tell. You can tell the difference. I mean, okay, that's just like when those line brushes, but it just this here feels like one of those really cheap made in China brushes. You know, um, even like. This one, I don't know, it's like it's too long. Do you know what I'm saying? Then a good quality flat eyeshadow brush. It's just, this is too long. It just feels really cheap. And this little blending thingy, I mean, what's the purpose of that? It's just, yeah, these are cheap. Love Craft and Beauty, very cheap brushes. Makes me wonder why I chose them. So I'm assuming I chose them because there was probably nothing else there that I wanted. Um... But I think I should have known by looking at the picture that they look like they're very cheap. Anyways, that's what I chose. Last thing I chose was this. It's another Busy Art palette. Um, this one is called Professional Makeup Petite Pro On. That's what it's called. So this is what it looks like here. And it's very, very, um, oh, hold on. No way. Oh, she's broken, everybody. Okay, so I'm carefully going to show you. I'm going to have to send them a, a, a picture. Very nice colors. I don't want to bend it anymore because this one here is completely broken. And it's my favorite shimmer color that's broken, too. What a bummer. That's like a champagne shimmer, my favorite one. Pretty colors though, peach, yellow, two brownish colors, like a, a dark 
burgundy brownish color pink and almost like a peach shimmer very nice, but she's broken. I'm going to have to take a picture and send it to Ipsy and go, my palette been broke. They'll probably send me um, another one. So, now I got highlight again all over my desk. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's weird. I don't often, no idea. I don't often get things come broken, like shadows from Ipsy, even though they don't put it in a lot of um, bubble wrap, right? Um... But this, on both bottles, did come loose. One of them spilled over my other bag. And this one here was loose as well, but thankfully it didn't spill anywhere. Anyway, that's my bag. And I'm seriously, uh, like seriously debating, do I need this bag, the Ipsy Plus? Because I think I've noticed... In all the months that I've been subscribed with Ipsy Plus, I don't think I've been like, except for maybe the one Xbox where I got um, the ABH palette in it, some nice brushes or something like that. I don't think I've been wowed by what I've been getting in my Ipsy bag. Like, yes, I like the products, but I'm finding that a lot of these brands are overpriced made in China brands. Um, I do love my regular Ipsy bag, you know, I, I love it. I mean, I take my IBY little mini blush, you know, highlight this blush I got from Ipsy. I love my mini bag, but I don't think that this Ipsy Plus bag is exactly working out for me because I do find that a lot of the brands that I'm getting are kind of like overpriced made in China brands. And I'm thinking that that money can go towards... Maybe another box, a different kind of a box. So, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking I might cancel for now. And, you know, because, like, we can pretty much get half of these things if I wanted it anyways as an add-on with my regular bag, right? So, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm thinking I'm going to end up I'm canceling the Ipsy Plus. I'm going to cancel the Ipsy X. And, you know, if they come up with an Ipsy Xbox collabed with Natasha Denona or, like, you know, um, a great brand that we love, then I'll sign up for it again. But, um, yeah, I, I just don't, I'm not seeing the payoff for me getting this bag. What do you think? Because, I mean, it went up an extra $3, $4, whatever it was, plus I paid for the shipping, $7.90. So it's almost like $50 or over $50 a month now. No, around fifty dollars a month that I'm get, I'm paying for this box, and again, you know, it's like a lot of stuff seems to be a lot of cheap, made in China, overpriced brands that I've been getting um, in the last few months. You know, not all of them. I mean, Busy Art's not cheap. You know, made in China kind of thing. I don't know. Is it made in China? Not saying that everything made in China is bad either, just like my Ace Beauty. I love Ace Beauty. You know, maybe a little bit overpriced, but I still love it, right? Um, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that even though I do like the items that come that have come into most of my bags, most of it I'm not using. It's not tickling me pink. Um, and I have a, enough makeup. So, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to cancel this box as well. And uh, maybe look for something else that gets me excited. And maybe it's not going to be makeup. You know, maybe it'd be something different. I like household boxes. Maybe I'll give that a go, right? Anyways, let me know. What do you think in the comments down below? Would you keep it? Um, or would you maybe look for something else, especially if you have the makeup? You know, like it's not like I'm, I don't have any of that around, right? And I won't cancel my regular Ipsy bag because I love that bag. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to cancel this one. This is not tickling my fancy anymore. But the fact that I can get it and use a shipping company is great news, right? Anyway, it's Friday. I'll see you soon. Don't forget, I'll be live 8 o'clock tonight. Bye. Love you.